Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 2, Thoughts. This episode is called Heavy is the Head, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode in this video. No spoilers for anything MCU that happened after this episode first premiered in this video. And uh, let's see. Yes, so the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers. And then there's some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So let's dive in. And yeah, heavy is the head. I believe the, the full quote is heavy is the head that wears a frown. Now, it's not a frown. It's an upside down smile. Work on that. And yeah, so we open on the... Yeah, Melinda May tries to get Hunter out of there. I gotta say, I hope they keep this thing with May on the motorcycle up because this was really cool. I'm not even that into like motorcycles and such, but just yeah, really, really cool. The the yeah, couple of maneuvers she makes and her being completely cool and calm talking to Colson you know, just, yeah, very, very cool. And, yeah, you know, she wants to stop Creel. Coulson wants to know who is he working for, who is number two working for. And, yeah, so Talbot got his hands on Hunter. And, let's see... I appreciate that Sky is patient with Fitz. She's pretty much the only person who, who is. And, yeah, so Talbot and Hunter talk, and, you know, yeah, he wants two million and a proper burial. And for a second, you're like, is he about to drop dead? Is that what he's saying? Because then what does he need the two million for? Oh, okay, burial for Izzy. And, yeah, we see Fitz is getting paranoid about being shut out from lab work and such. And he does examine Creel's DNA and really come through for the team. So that is something I really appreciate, and I will talk more in detail later in this video about how they're handling Fitz in, in this episode, and I'm hoping they'll keep this up. And, yeah, poor waitress. And the I, I really appreciate, like, this show is not afraid to get, like, outright, like, scary, like, horror theme, you know, her, like, May hears, like, a scream, and then you come in and the waitress, like, it would be one, if it would already be scary if she comes in and the waitress is just already dead, but no, like, you can see on her face, she knows what's happening, and she can't stop it. And that's really freaking scary. So that, yeah, very, very effective. <laughs> and Hunter ruins the, the wheels in the, in the perimeter breach, and he and Trip talk about it, which, yeah, that was, that was funny. And yeah, you know, we wonder, did he take the deal? You know, who is he... You know, is he coming to, to Coulson to, to, like, reveal, you know, what Talbot wanted? Or is this part of the deal that he took for Talbot? Which, yeah, very, very clever. And, you know, he asks for not only his own pay, but also Izzy in Idaho. And for a second, you know, Coulson and we, the audience, are like, that greedy mother, and then, you know, he reveals, no, you know, I'm, I'm going to give that money to their families. Which, you know, I, I really appreciate. Like, so far, it's difficult to say for sure what Hunter is going to, to do, and I quite like that. The, the, this kind of unpredictability... You know, there was some of that with Sky in the first season. May, you know, but the yeah, I, I quite appreciate it. And let's see. 
Right, and we, yeah, so, you know, um, the, the, can't believe I'm blanking on the name, um, hold on, the, right, um, Mac is not really, you know, he's fairly blunt, you know, that is, yeah, with with fits and yeah we see you know Creel is having problems controlling his power and just that little bit of you know we don't we don't need like a big monologue about him you know we just see you know he grabs one thing okay turns you know starts to turn his body into that but the the portion of his arm that turned into the the what do they call it the obelisk you know, that stays the same. Okay, try with another. Nope, still, you know, nice job on the visual storytelling. You know, th there's no reason to have him verbally explain this because the audience can clearly tell what's going on. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and Reyna and... Creel talk, and the thing Reyna gives him does end up fixing it. And <clears throat> yeah, the you know I like the thing when you know ever heard of Hy you know do you do you know Hydra? Heard of it? You know the thing, and yeah, the fact that we don't you know by the end of the episode we realize she's working with who the subtitles and IMDb identify as Zabo, if that's how you pronounce that. Uh, you know the the um, she is yeah you know her her loyalties are flexible and yeah you know she she explains why she's no longer interested in working with Hydra and we we did see that we saw that with Garrett you know yeah that's not what she's there for you know and that is the thing that that is something we saw Garrett do he he tells you one thing that you can work with him on and then once you're deeper in he's gonna say by the way the real thing we're doing is this and both Ward and Reyna ended up rejecting the the world domination thing that he you know yeah or yeah yeah moving on um, I quite like that Mac and Fitz actually work well together, and this, you know, I hope no one takes this bit to mean that this is how you should approach every single case, but I do know, you know, I myself don't have a lot of people that can completely follow my, my thinking that they can help with my ADHD, but I do know there are some people with ADHD, if they have a person who can follow where they're going, they can help them focus. And that's what we're seeing with Mac. And, you know, everybody else treats Fitz with kid gloves. Everybody else is like, oh, you know, let's give him space. And some people with, you know, issues with mental health, that is exactly what you should do. But not everyone. And... You know, the, at one point in the season premiere, Colson said, you know, Fitz is only getting worse. Well, that might mean that you need a different approach. You know, you know Colson and, and others have basically given up on Fitz. And that's just not what, you know, Mac is not interested in that. You know, and, and him, the, the thing with, you know... Obviously, he can't see Simmons, so he's not actually ignoring her, though it appears that way to Fitz. But he also, you know, when Fitz becomes distracted by, you know, what he believes is Gemma, yeah, you know, Mac is like, hey, over here, you know, let's, let's focus. And some people need that. Please don't apply it to just everyone. Don't. You know, but but yeah, some people are aided by that. If, for example, they have 
uh, trouble focusing. And yeah, we see Hunter does indeed betray. You know, he shoots Sky, May, and Trip, and later, you know, Colson says, you know, not only does May hold a grudge, she savors it, which. Yeah, that is very, very true. There's a lot we don't know yet about May. She's a very secretive person. Not to be confused with secretive person, which is more like Spider-Man. But one thing we do know, she loves getting back at, you know, that was, it was clearly very personal when she took out Ward at the end of Season 1. And... Yeah, it, it, very, very cool when Hunter attempts to shoot Creel, and they do the slow-mo thing with the bullet, and Creel perceives it and turns into, you know, I, I guess metal, and the bullet bounces off as like, holy crap. And, and now he has to run. No, I'm not saying that movie is good, but that one bit does make me chuckle. And, yeah, so the, yeah, the device that fits, you know, Mac, Mac gets out the, the thing and starts scrolling through, which, you know, fits, will know it when he sees it, but he's, he's not quite, you know, yeah, he can't himself right now do the the thing of scrolling through because of the the you know the the brain injury as it is in in the show you know and and yeah they found it the you know they they adjusted it and it disabled creel's powers temporarily or put the put his powers under the control of the device, I guess. And Coulson still wants Hunter to work for him. That was, yeah, but, you know, he's interesting. I, I'm glad he's gonna stay on the show, uh, you know, because, I mean, he can't go back. Yeah, you know, basically, like, either he works with Coulson or the way things are right now, I'm not sure he'd get, would, would Talbot really want to work with... I, th I think Talbot was only considering him a means to an end. And... Yeah, you know, um, Mac empathizes with Fitz. He's lost partners, too. And, yeah, really, really appreciate that. Let's see. Yeah, and we learn, you know, cold... <laughs> I like the thing, you know, Sky says... Colson's not, you know, he is not okay, and May's like, of course he's, you know, there's nothing wrong with you, and smash cut, there is something wrong with you, <laughs> and yeah, we learn it's been 18 days since he last had an episode, and he's overdue, and May says, you have to, you know, let it happen, and that is also something, you know, th so this is, I don't know if, I suppose it's somewhat like OCD, maybe. Uh, you know, I know it's not supposed to be OCD, but the real-life equivalent would basically be OCD, and... Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, I don't want to give... I'm not... I, I'm not going to speak to that. I don't know well enough if that is something that someone with OCD would benefit from, or if it would only make it worse. What I'll say is, there are things in real life where you can't stop it. You can just try to, like, I, I want to say the words like microdose. You know, you, you let a little bit out, and then you, you know, proceed until next time you have to let a little bit out instead of bottling it up until it just explodes. You know, some things are like this, not every thing that, yeah. And, yeah. So, um, I, yeah, last thing we see, uh, you know, there are, yeah, there's, there's a couple of, yeah, we have the Reina Zabo thing and then Coulson with Talbot at the end. 
so yeah, you know, Zabo, th this time we do see, yeah, he does have, like, surgical equipment, you know, so, yeah, I, you know, we're gonna, we'll see exactly what it is, um, that's going on with, yeah, what, what is it that the character does, but yeah, it's very clear this is indeed the man that Reyna went to after learning the identity. You know, we saw, we saw her meet him at the very, very end of the first episode of this season, and yeah, you know, he insists the Reyna pick it up, and it activates, and you know, she says, oh, it, it worked, and he says, no, it let you live. You know, bring my daughter to me, and I'll show you both, you know. And, yeah, again, like, Reyna, she just wants to know, she wants to understand the the next stage kind of thing, you know, completely in character from the things we've seen her, you know, in, in season one. And, yeah, um, I like, you know, Coulson tricking Talbot by saying, oh, yeah, you know, this is just the tip, hot of the iceberg. Ooh, cold. And, you know, then, okay, let's get out of here before the iceberg runs out of fuel. And, yeah, just, you know, very clever to, to make Talbot believe that there's, you know, he can't control this. This is, a, you know, you don't want this fight. This is going to completely, yeah. Uh, I like the reveal that the the Hydra guy, I I guess Sun, Sunil Bakshi, um, you know he's he wants the case and it's one of those things you know if he just turns around and grabs the case without getting Creel to agree to it, you know Creel's gonna be able to really mess him up before he gets away with that case, and then when Creel you know runs off. You know, dude goes for the case, case is missing, and we see, you know, we, we briefly see someone in a flower dress walk off with it in her hand, and, yeah. Which I suppose may be why they set up this thing of, you know, she always wears a floral dress. So, yeah, you know, when we see just a glimpse of it, we know that's her. So, let's see... Yeah, so IMDb Trivia, the title of this episode is a popular rephrasing of a famous line from Shakespeare's Henry I.V. I know it's for. I'm just screwing with you. Just, I I don't know. I get a kick out of screwing with people who flip out when you mis slightly mispronounce learned stuff like that. Anyway, the original line is uneasy as the head that wears a crown, refers to stress that comes from leadership, the responsibility of making hard decisions, and those crowns, sometimes they just make them too tight and it's... Ugh. Let's see... And... Oh yeah, this is the first episode of the series to not feature nor credit Brett Dalton Grant Ward. Now... Uh, right, I appreciate, you know, this thing of, like, Sky knows there's something going on with the symbols, and Coulson is hiding from the, yeah, you know, yeah. I like Glenn. Can I call you Glenn? No. And... Yeah, and the thing I felt bad for kidnapping you, right? And and it is clever to to bring Creel and then say, oh, you know, we he turned to stone, but he could always do that, you know. And yeah, you know, Talbot has to keep him safe now, but it is you know, yeah, that he can go in front of the cameras. We know he loves to do that. Talbot can and say, you know, we're we're we got Creel. He was a dangerous guy. We have him in custody. You know, that's 
obviously that's something that, and and Coulson probably also doesn't want to have to deal with Creel but yeah it's a uh, it's one of those uh, yeah right and yeah um when Hunter points out, you know, how did we get stuck with a non-lethal option? And May says, coin flip, trip call, tails. Which is, of course, how, you know, the, the, we, we know they have, they, they, they at least had a sniper rifle that fired icer, uh, you know, night-night bullets. So they had that option, but now, you know, trip has a regular sniper rifle, they did bring a, you know, a lethal in case they needed that against Creel. And let's see if there's any. <laughs> and yeah, when, when, at, you know, Colson keeps saying, you copy, do you copy, because May you know, if she says, I copy, then she can't very well keep pursuing Creel, because then she's disobeying an order. But if she didn't copy, it's like, oh, I don't know, it's just, couldn't hear you. And, you know, tire screech, horns blare, May, that does not sound covert. And, let's see. Yeah, and the thing with, you know... Sky says, you need to loosen up, try yoga or something. And Coulson says, I tried it, but I'm really not flexible. Yeah, I, I believe. He means, I suppose he means both physically and, like, his, his demeanor. He's not very flexible. And... Right, and we learned that Coulson got rid of levels, which, I mean, he's still keeping secrets from some people, so it doesn't completely, yeah, let's see, and, <laughs> yeah, and the thing with, you know, Scout's Honor, you were never a Boy Scout, were you? And I think that might be about. Let's see. Yeah, that is it for this one. I might be able to do an episode tomorrow. We'll see, and yeah, until next time, don't forget the merits for basket weaving and pottery.